Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into haunts. Today we're going to be making a very simple project. A ghost. Now this basically only has two things that you do over and over and over again. <laughs> so it will be pretty simple for anyone to actually do. So we take some saran wrap and wrap it around a face of some kind. A skull is probably not the best thing in the world, but that is what I had, so that's what I'm using. Uh, and an actual face probably would have been better with noses and stuff like that. So after you wrap it around the saran wrap, you take some clear tape and you just tape it on so it becomes firm and hard. And when it's when you cover up the whole thing, this is a little difficult to, to see, but after you've covered up the whole thing with tape, you just cut it off and use more tape to tape it back together. Now what probably makes mine different than other versions I've seen like this is two things, a step in the end that I'll show you, but also that I use a heat gun to actually shrink it down so it's nice and taut around. So after you put the saran wrap around, you just use your heat gun and it will actually melt it down just a little bit. You don't use a ton of heat on this, just a tiny little bit or else you'll rip it through. But of course, if you rip through, you can always just go ahead and put more saran wrap on it and just melt that down too. Uh, for my body, uh, probably a better body is an actual another person. If you use this too, just wrap them up in saran wrap. Obviously, don't wrap their face up in saran wrap. But that way, you can actually get arms and stuff. I'm just doing a torso and head. And then you can get the idea and just do it to anything or if you have a full mannequin. I make props every Monday, so make sure you subscribe. And also, I'm working with another YouTube channel using his music for the background music. So I'll be quiet for a second and let you listen to that. Just for a little bit extra support, I actually take some tape and tape the inside of the torso as well. So it's not necessary, but it's a good idea. But here's what I felt like makes mine a little bit different here, is I didn't like how it felt and looked with all that tape around. Um, so I actually decided to do something to make it, I guess, kind of hide the tape a bit. And that's put another layer of saran wrap on and remelt that down. Since the tape is already there, it will have the structure that it needs. But this is just really just to hide all those sharp corners and creases that the, that the tape caused. Uh, it's hard to see that what I'm talking about on camera. But if you make this yourself, just know that it actually looks a lot better if you just put another layer of saran wrap on it. And now to actually display this, the best thing to do would be to hang it from something, from invisible string, because it does not support itself very well. Oh, come on, stay. <laughs> I can't stop it from falling. Oh. You guys can't even see that, huh? It's like a real ghost. Thanks for watching that video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Uh, also, make sure you share this with your friends or just make it and throw that at them and, and prank them, cause, cause that's fun. Leave a comment below, tell me what you want me to make in the future. Ooh, scary. It's moving on its own. Ah.